Corey Erdman here with Adonis Stevenson, and this is what we're fighting for on Saturday night, the Ring Magazine and the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. This is the man who holds it. Adonis, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. Tell me, has life changed for you at all since you've become the champion of the world? I mean, you seem a lot more confident and more outspoken than you were before. Have things changed since you won that belt? Oh, of course, they change, they change, uh, they change everything, you know. <clears throat> but I still, I still working hard, and I still, <clears throat> I still want more than only a one belt. So, so I, I got, uh, so I got, I got uh, an, an, another mission. So, so now uh, I fight Tavis Cloud. I know he's a, he's a big, big uh, fighter, big puncher. So uh, I will prepare very well uh, my f for for him. It's amazing to think that you're the champion of the world, but this is still just your second fight at the weight class. Uh, is it more comfortable this time fighting at 175? Do you feel stronger now than maybe you even were against Austin? Of course, I feel I feel more I feel I feel more stronger. I feel more powerful. Uh, I feel more I got power, and you will see that uh, Saturday. And so this is my second fight and and this weight division and. I feel comfortable with the division, and I feel I got more, more power. I feel I'm strong physically too. So uh, September 28th, I will be ready for this fight. And it's important to know that you chose this fight. I mean, you could have fought Tony Bell. You could have fought whoever you wanted. Why Tavoris Cloud? Why did you want this fight? Uh, you know, uh, because uh, uh, Bello and uh, HBO uh, you don't very interested to fight for this fight. And so uh, HBO told me, you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna put uh, Tavis Cloud. And so what do you think? I said I don't have a problem because I'm the best of the light heavyweight. So you want if you want to put uh, Tavis Cloud, no problem. So I fight Tavis Cloud. So then after that, uh, this is the man, this is uh, Tony Bell is the mandatory. So after that, uh, I will fight him. What do you think about Cloud's style? Do you think that maybe it's even easier for you because he's not a guy that moves around a whole lot? He's going to come at you. Do you think the style is really well suited for you? Oh, of course. Uh, he's that 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 guy is he's going to stay front and come from to me and try to put more pressure. On. That's that, that's that's uh, Chad Dawson. That's he doing, and you see what happened uh, when he's doing that. So. Uh, Cloud is, is going to do the same thing. The first run or the second run, you're going to try to move in, I think. And so, but but then after that, he's going to come to the whole style and come to rushing and try to to give me a pressure. You've always been a really confident guy, but I've never seen you up at the podium just say, "I'm going to knock this guy out." Like you hear, you just seem more confident than ever before. Yeah, but the the first time with uh, Chad Dawson, I said the same thing too. I'm going to knock him out and. And it's good, I talk him, but uh, in the ring, I perform. That's very important uh, to perform, so that's what I'm looking for, to perform. And Saturday night, Saturday night, I will perform again. If you get past Cloud, down the road, there could be a matchup with Bernard Hopkins. And maybe you could get some revenge for, uh, for your pal, Jean Pascal. Is that a fight that interests you down the road? I want to fight just only, I want to fight champion. If you're not a champion, I'm not going to fight. Why am I going to waste my time to fight uh, uh, if you're not a champion? I want to fight champion. And you sure Bernard Hopkins is a champion? That's an interesting fight. And, but now I got, I got Tavis Cloud on my mind. And then after that, I got, you got Tony Bello. So, so uh, now I'm very busy now. I know everything stays in the gym and we can't name names, but last training camp and in this one, I've been hearing rumors that you've been hurting and knocking down heavyweights and cruiserweights. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. But you know, you know, uh, you, you know, he's sparring. You know, so, so, uh, so, I knock him out of heavyweight. But you know, he's he's sparring. He's, you know, anything can happen in sparring too. You know, so he's just training. You know. Well, we're looking forward to seeing the real thing on Saturday night. Adonis, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you very much.